more on Jack McCarthy. Um, lost a bet to me on Walk the Line, so he's got to wear. <laughs> he's got to wear this with a muzzle on it. I mean, that's unbelievable. So it's like the gimp, basically. Yeah, he's literally the gimp. Can you imagine, like, having sex with someone in this? Is that, is that like bondage? What? Is that bondage? Is that what I don't know is? if they call that BDSM or if that's this the same thing. Like, I don't know what this is. I don't know, but imagine this. It's people, almost, I feel like it's almost like a mix of like bondage and like a furry. Like it's got like some Dude, dog, free oh, some like yeah. dog parts to it, but like you literally have a muzzle on. Yeah, it. Cl it but it's also like like it clamps. Like, I didn't even know like it latex. clamps. Put it on. Put it, no chance. That's not for me. Jack, Jack Mac. Jack Mac 2.0. You gotta put this on. We gotta try it out. We gotta try it out. Make sure, it it make, sure, just make sure it fits. Yeah, let's make sure oh, that's it fits. Disgusting. That's what happens for you being an it's idiot. It's high quality. Yeah, you look hot. <laughs> I'm gonna suffocate. I'm kind of claustrophobic. If you die on the show, that'd be sick. <laughs> make viewership go up for sure. Man. I don't know, maybe you might be into this after. You'd be fucking rats just with this mask on all the time. I'm Brandon Walker. That's Marty Mush. I'm Marty Mush, how are you? This is Walk the Line. This is our daily gambling show here on Barstool Sports. Art! Fuck! Art, goddammit! You fucking agree with I wear the muzzle, that's it. That is true, that is true. That was the all that is the agreement. Just one, one bar. Just one bar! I love so bad. <laughs> I can't even do it. I don't know. Come on! You're the bar! Why are you fucking wearing the guy's Please, bar. Bar. I want your bar so bad. Look at his little ear over there on the side. <laughs> it's yeah, it's, 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 it's okay. stuck. It's okay. I, let's I just continue with the show. I don't want to talk. Well, you bark. Mm -hmm. One time bark. <laughs> I can't do this. It's the muscles. It's the muscles. It's the muscles. This is not a big deal. I'm just I'm putting up my starting lineup figures. Not a big deal. Why? Because I wanted to have some some flair at my desk. I wanted to have some personality. Nothing's going to be changing at your desk this week. Well, am I am I moving? I don't know. Have you heard? I still regret not taking that desk. And I'm I'm still contemplating making you switch with. Me. Making me. Yep. That's my shirt. Exciting. Why are you getting dressed up today? I don't know. We have school picture day. So I just brought a shirt. I don't know. We have picture day today for our brands and stuff, and he brought that like it's fucking high school yearbook day. He really is like Will Ferrell. He's like, he's like Will Ferrell. What do you mean you didn't know nice what to wear? Plus, I need a shirt here anyway, a nicer shirt. Every time, every week, your outfit, your, your outfit's a topic of discussion every week. I don't understand this. I like this. So, thank you. We gotta go. There's a camera guy waiting for us. I actually say this. You never at Barstool need that shirt ever. There's a camera guy waiting for us. I mean, look at how well it's been kept, you can tell. I think this actually might be a video. Okay. Right here. There we go. <laughs> okay, how's this for a different look? <laughs> this, is like, this is like blue steel. <laughs> I didn't want to distract you there. All you did was squint your eyes. I don't know how to look. You this is what I, hold on, this is what I did, I think. You just look super baked. Your mean face, your mean face was some, your eyes just closed. Does this look mean? I don't know how yeah, to look Yeah, dude, mean. you look terrifying. 
I don't know how to look mean. It's tough, I know. Your mean face is like like a douche American face. Does that look mean? Did you go? <laughs> that's what they, they asked him to go mean, and that's what he did. <laughs> What'd you do? They told me to go mean, so I went. Oh, mean, you just go, like, you just go. That is meaner, that is. Well, but also, I'm like, dude, right. I've got some meaner stuff inside right. of me. Yes. Alright, hold on. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, it looks like you're trying to like look sexy. Like a mean guy, a mean <laughs> it looks guy. Like you're trying to look hot. A mean guy doesn't. Mean lean guys like are that. hot. I don't know. Mean guys don't lean like that though. How do you look mean? Get get that chin up. Yeah, that's it. Kind of. Not really though. <laughs> oh, wait, put that e back I can't, I'm not doing the Casey Smith. <laughs> 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 How'd the photos go? I haven't done anything yet. You psyched? I've already taken my photos this morning. Oh, did you get makeup done? This is look no. two. What? Yeah. This is because you're such a star. Yeah, this is my second of three. I have one tomorrow too. Right? Do you have like a yeah. signature look or? Just, just me. No, I meant your face, like blue steel kind of thing. No, just, no. just. I have a bad face anyway, so just whatever. I think you've got a nice face. You do have a nice face. Yeah. So, just my face. It's easy to see. Dude, he said. What? He said not smiling. Smiling and. Yeah, but he gave you smiling said... fingers. That's like a mixed message. I should do like. Oh, yeah. Are you Possible? trying to make that hard? <laughs> yeah, it's already it hard. It already is hard, but I want to keep it hard. Do you see that? You see how nice that? You like that guy who at, the, when that porn shoot that came to introduce himself to us? He was fluffing see himself. Jacket off. <laughs> was he fluffing? Yeah, he came over. Me and Room we walk into the room and he's and he has it literally some. What's up, guys? And he's, he's just, just like jerking off, jerking his dick. He's like, what's up, dude? A huge fan. I love Barcelona for the last three years. <laughs> It's like, whoa, dude. <laughs> like, he's so like, sorry, much. I'm working right now. <laughs> That's a classic. That's the problem I know. Yep. As advertised. All right, give me a little well, movie magic. Thinking, uh, think. Think. I've been working at, I was working at USA Today for four years, making videos, interviewing athletes, traveling around really to every single tent pole event or, you know, big, big event like the World Series, Super Bowl, all that. Not a big deal. It was, it was really an amazing opportunity, great spot. Um, but was feeling like I wanted to go somewhere a little bit more irreverent. I uh, was sort of like, not in a rush, but definitely looking around. So she came in for like an audition of sorts. Uh, she was brought to my attention, potentially like talented, you know, person, blogger, entertainer, comic, whatever you want to say. Had her on Barstool Radio, and we were just shooting the shit to see how she can interact with us. Best way to figure out if somebody fits with us, is just throw them in the mix. Yeah. So she's here. I made a comment that my company took issue with. It's like, apparently disparaging. I also never know because some female people in media, it's like a real like, they can either love me or hate me. Yeah, There's yeah. generally not in between. I was supposed to interview you, and my people shut it down. See? They shut That's it down. That's what I'm fucking sure. talking about. I said yes. I was all in. Who shut it down? One of the producers out of, of USA LA. Today? Yeah, they were now like... Now I hate them. Yeah. So welcome to the club. <laughs> well, it's, just one, it's just one person. I, well, Her name is Sandy. Okay. She's very she's very conservative. What? She went to journalism school what at BU. Loser. BU, though. BU. What? Yeah, but be you. I'm from there, but that is. What are you whispering? About? Do you still work for? Are you gonna get excommunicated for, for being here? I feel for like being, she, may mean, own, she may now get hired just so Dave. No, 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 no. Time out. I, I preface it. I'm not <laughs> no, a I lunatic. Said I, was on the I, asked, table. I can be a guest on another. No, I said we'll get show. hired just so oh. that you can spite Sandy at USA Today. Be like, I took, is she still there? I took Sandy Krista is still there right now. These people, and that is why we continue to have success, and these idiots like that continue to fucking fail. I mean, what? How you know about, what she said? What? She said, "Why would you give him a platform?" And I said, "We literally get like I don't know how many organic views we get per video. I don't know. It's a lot of autoplay. 
But I said, they have a much bigger platform than us. I love that. So. Why would you give me, honey, <laughs> why would I give you a platform? <laughs> so then uh, I got a call from the head of video. And the head of video uh, never calls me on like a weekend. It was, my, it was a Thursday night, Friday I have off. And uh, I was like, well, that's probably not good. And uh, I looked at my email, but I was in transit to Penn Station to go back to DC. And I look at my email and it's like, you have been removed from all social channels of USA Today. <laughs> Oh, I'm probably fired. <laughs> so I uh, call him back, and he's, you know, starts off very sweetly, but I already know what the end result is, so I'm just sort of waiting for it. And he's like, and I regret to inform you that today is your last day at USA Today. So then I called Jen and told her what happened, and she uh, she said she was going to reach out to Dave. And, you know, the fastest way to get hired by me is get fired somewhere else. Like, you know. I'm not gonna let you fire her and have her no job, so that's kind of how it went down. And then I tweeted it out, he retweeted it. And now we're at Barcelona at the very moment. And now, we're here. Before you came on, uh, mm -hmm. I was talking to our producer, Pat, and Colin, uh, who's our uh, camera guy. I was like, man, we should ask her this question. So we're gonna ask you this question. So okay. You, you seem like you're down for it. It better be good uh, with that build up. You ever, <laughs> you ever played Fuck, Mary Kill? No. So fuck, marry, kill. Right? It's pretty much a game where Patty gonna help me out with this. Wait, uh, you say uh, marry is like here comes the bride? Yes. yes. Yeah, fuck, yeah. marry, kill. Uh, so marry is pretty much somebody you're gonna you're you're okay with for the rest of your life, mm -hmm. right? Fuck is usually like uh, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I'll do it once and then I'll be done with it. <laughs> kill. I don't ever want to see it again. Are you in this mix up? No, but I got okay. three people you do know. <laughs> okay. uh, Kevin O'Leary. Oh. Mark Cuban. Okay. And Robic, uh, Robert Hershevik. Hershevik, yeah. yeah. Oh, easy. Mark, you know the F word uh, for sure. Fuck him. Any day. Wait, is fuck a good thing or a so bad thing? So fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Help me it, it, it's it's like, so, like, so, so this FMK is like, I've been put to it a couple times with the yeah. Golden Girls, and since I'm such a B. Arthur guy, it's an easy question. So like, so one is you just give him one bang. Yeah. You're like, bang. I, I, like, it's almost like the like sexiest bang one. bang him once. Yeah. You bang him once. The other one you can see yourself spending the rest of your life oh, with. Oh, yeah, And yeah. if you had to make a decision on who's on the outside looking in, not only do you have to make that decision, you have to cut his throat. Right. So, it's, so the, the oh. stakes are kind of, it's not necessarily a hatred for the kill person, but they just don't <laughs> have any room in your marital bed or in your one night stand easy, bed. Easy, right. easy, so easy. FMK. Okay. Fuck Mary Kill. So you have those three. Kevin, gentlemen. Mark, or Robert. Okay. So you want me to rate each one? Yes. Yes. Kevin, fuck. <laughs> Mark, <laughs> definitely marry. He's a billionaire. Oh, right. Of course. And kill Robert because he's so damn annoying. <laughs> yeah. uh, awesome. I love I that. I think you've been going around uh, with this show now for 11 seasons, and that's the first time you've been asked that. So I'm extremely proud that yes. you're able to answer it. And you're it getting here. me to say bad words. What are my kids going to think? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Your mom they, is I'm, a champion. I think yep. they probably have heard him uh, before this. No, at the stool. Just finished up one of the greatest interviews you ever had. It was Barbara Corcoran. Eating and Barbara is the podcast. Tune into it. She's down for just about anything. Check it out. Probably being thrown on the ladder is I one of those things. I love you guys. I love you guys. All right, right. You'll be in rough and rowdy with us on November 27th. No, I won't be. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, I'll be I'm sorry. Get some other chick. Overstep. Let's right. get her down. She's worth too much money. Okay, let's go. Hug me tight okay. as you okay. squeeze okay. me. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, babies. Come go. closer. <laughs> Thanks, he used to be a commenter on our site and would trash myself, Big Cat. Are you cheap? Is that why he called you Heath? No, he called me cheap because I'm Jewish. Radio silence and getting close to being legitimately fired. Because when you ask an employee a question, it has to be answered. I know you're out there, Hank. It's time just to tell the truth or get out. The anatomy of an internet someone hide behind a screen name to wreak chaos is it the anonymity the obscurity do they feel their social identity means more than their personal identity are they desensitized to the acidity of an internet without consequences or do they just want to watch the world burn sometimes Trolls thrive knowing they'll never meet their victims. But some are so close, it has to be personal. Franny Lydon was Henry Lockwood. Henry Lockwood was Franny Lydon. But what turned Dr. Jekyll into Mr. Hyde? 
what brought out the monster. Was it incident after incident of belittlement and subjugation? Or was it all random? Every troll has a story, a catalyst. It always has to start somewhere. Fire? Pretty on point. I'm gonna get one more, I'm gonna get one more, I'm gonna get all one right, more. Right. I felt good about it, but I could even, I, I rushed it a little bit at the end. Like Blind Mike is a talent, was all he is is one, <laughs> right? But not even and that wasn't and enough. he doesn't care. Like he will, you can like. My guess, without hearing it, is he's like, "Oh, what do you matter? I didn't mean anything." Is that what Blind yeah. Mike did? Yeah, yeah. I called in. I was like, "It was the oh, it's just a joke." It's just right, a joke. right, right, right. That's like, what well, he does. Like, yeah. You take like shot after shot. Eventually, like yeah, you, he's like he'll spawn. be like, "You're Hitler." Oh, this is his joke. Right. Like, that's Blind Mike. Yeah, Blind Mike. Stuff. Hey, Blind Mike. You basically, if you had a pulse, I would bring you to New York, and I left that blind, like, talentless hack. I couldn't have said it better myself. I believe we have Blind Mike on the horn. Blind Mike, you there? Yeah, guys, I heard the first segment, and it seems to me that you guys are under some delusion that I think I'm talented or something. There it is. That's Blind Mike 101 right there. You take shots on social media. You were doing Tommy, you've done to me, and then you do this routine. I made person. jokes about Tommy. Shut I mean, they're, up. They're they're not, they're, that's not a joke. You're boring Dude, and I've useless. Never met Tommy in my life. You're boring and that useless is worse. not a saying joke. We've we, You're saying boring and useless is not a joke. They're not little things if you continually it, it just it take shots at somebody when you're a useless, talentless fucking hack. It's, I don't know what, and then you just turn around and be like, it's a joke. At least Kirk will defend what he says. You don't. Just don't do this both sides. That's why I fucking hate you. You've done it since I've known you. You'll say stuff that are insults, and then be like, it's a joke. You can't take a joke when you're not joking. You just said you're not. You're like, I really mean it. So just be a man <laughs> one time and own up to it, you blind fuck. The things he'd say, they always have this tone of like, hey, I'm taking a shot at you, and then he'd never back it up when you talk to him. I'm not taking a shot. Why are you getting mad? It's a joke. Yeah. Exactly I'm, what I'm he's very doing. surprised Shut you feel that up, way. Shut up, fucking you blind fuck. He'd do exactly what he just did on this call, and that infuriates me more than anything when someone won't own it. Maybe we've changed him. I can come together, but just own it. Don't back down like he – and you could just look at this call. The way he started is like, it was a joke. And then you go two seconds later, he's like, well, actually, it wasn't a joke at all. That's what infuriates me about human beings and Blind Mike in general. I don't care if he says Tommy's boring. Then, then mean it. Let's back it up. He does mean it. But don't say it's a joke when Tom's like, what the fuck? He's like, oh. Uh. Should we have Minahan and text me and ask if he wants to call him? I believe we have Kirk Minahan on the line. Kirk, you there? Hey, what's up? Hello, Kirk. Hello, Dave. How are you? Good. I mean, I just listened to that. That was really unnecessary. Jesus Christ. I mean, really. <laughs> I mean, he needed it. He's, I mean, he's no way does. He's a fucking blind dummy. Like, I mean, Jesus, leave him alone. I mean, that was, that was really fucking cruel, if, honestly. If there's... We, sorted, we, sorted shit, we sorted shit out on our show this morning, I thought. Tommy, no, did we not? Yeah, I, I mean, I, me and you never had any beef. My thing with him, and he should learn this from you, is... What drives me insane is, did you hear the beginning when he was like, it's a joke? And then two seconds later, it's like, so you don't think Tommy's boring? He's like, no, I think he's boring. That's what drives me crazy about Blind Mike. And yeah, but you, but you can, but you can, dro you can joke about something that you think is true. I mean, both can. But that's not a joke. Separate. How is saying someone's boring a joke if you mean it? Well, because if they say something boring and you're kind of making a joke at the fact that it's boring, it can't be funny. I mean, I mean he just, he, he, oh. but he, it's not just with Tommy, but he does a lot. He'll say something that's not really joking. It's just like, oh, you stink or this or that. And then when you call him on it, he's like, oh, it's just joking. Don't get mad about that. That's what, he, that's what drives me insane about not only him, anybody who does that. Well, okay, fine. Whatever. You can hate him. I, don't, I really don't care. I like the guy. I don't think he's talentless. I don't think he's talented, but he's somewhere in between. Yeah, I hate Blind Mike. I hate him. Good. Good for you. Congratulations. You hate a fucking blind guy. Who's, you know, what is that? Why am I supposed to treat him like a charity case? I did that long enough because he's blind. <laughs> All right, this is just a quick video. Okay, quick with you. The pregame. 
get your man. <laughs> that is just scary. <laughs> into the Kirk Minahan Show community. Everyone is welcome. Everybody. Kimberly and Peter, in front of all of us, but most importantly, Podcast Jesus, Mr. Kirk Minahan. Do you take each other to be lawful wedded spouses, to have and hold this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, and in sickness and health, to love and cherish till death do you part? I do, 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 do. <laughs> the married couple of Kimberly and Peter to the world. Peter, you may now kiss the bride. Amen. Made a fan! 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 Chaps and I had a bet during the World Series, pretty straightforward. And that's when the World Series Chaps has to get his chest, his legs, and his bikini line waxed. If the Houston Astros win, I gotta do the same. Um, the weird thing was, both Chaps and I have had experience with dealing with Brazilian waxes before on bets. We just don't learn from our mistakes, so. This is the most important part, is the bikini area. But Chaps, have you asked uh, your my wife about this yet? <laughs> no. no. She's, I think she's gonna be funny about this, because. She looks at my Twitter account like once every week. Talk to, talk to my chaps. Oh. So she looks at my uh, Twitter account like once a week. Uh -huh. And I think when she finally does, she's going to be very concerned uh -huh. for me. Because Will she like it? I think she knows that I don't like to do a lot of trimming on my legs, especially because uh -huh. it's very uncomfortable when it starts to grow back. That's what I'm more worried about. Is the when it gets sharp. Yeah, I'm not worried be too much about... This process, I'm worried about being uncomfortable. <laughs> for, like, I will tell two you weeks. with wax, it doesn't happen. Like the, the itch oh. that comes back when you shave. Oh, does really itchy. It doesn't happen. You oh, might get addicted to waxing. You might have gas. to make this like I a like how a I'm like usual thing. By yeah, we've got every mic in the studio <laughs> pointed at chaps. Here we go. All right, go. Okay, All right. here we go. We've got a big cauldron of hot wax. Oh boy, bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. Smells good in here. What a sight. Are you a little bit nervous, chaps? Uh, no, I'm not. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, you are. You're definitely a little bit nervous. Yeah. I'm getting very nervous. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I feel man. very nervous. Oh, no. Oh, man. Frank could not believe it at all. Oh. This, hurts hurts so, this hurts so bad. Frank, how bad do you feel for me? What'd you just say? I said, this hurts so bad. <laughs> no, it hurts you know. really bad? Yes. Chaps is a tough guy, though. Right? Ready? Here, Here we go. go. Yeah. He's about to do it. Three. Same direction. Two. Here we go. I got some hair on my head. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he my, hair, my hair just touched all the hair. You're a loser in this one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's a tongue. That's a tongue. Wear that Ooh, as a mustache. Oh, my God. That's so much hair. All right. So, we're getting ready to do the second strip on the left inner thigh. Or do we, we're still in the thigh? Man, that seems off easy. Oh, I wasn't ready. Oh. Can I that was it. <laughs> I'm honestly more nervous yeah. about this one. <laughs> this one seems like it could hurt a little more. 
Will you be doing the nipple at one? Yeah, I want PFTs. Yeah, the nipple. just nipples. Wait, you said nipple free. Hey, then walk. <laughs> you know I have very sensitive nipples. <laughs> I do. I, I do know that. Ready? Yep. Oh. oh! And don't forget. Oh. That, that has that's a nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you gotta yeah. put your hand down. Oh my god, this is. Oh, that's. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was that one. That one. That one. Oh my god. 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 And there's still a little more wax. Chaps said that you, that one hurt a little more. That yeah, that disgusting. one hurt a little bit more, but it's worth it. That was I think PFT is getting the worst. It looks like a skinned rat. I, I think Where's it might like be more that? painful for PFT. This this, this is pretty? more that sensitive, that so you might chest. you know. Oh, where is it? Oh, where is it? A little bit. The, the pores are bleeding more. Oh, it looks like Shrek's tongue. Where's the oh, dude, it's so bad. It's like auto oh, oh, oh. oh. yeah, you can really hear that. I need a bagel. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you a bagel after this. Thank you, BFT. Oh, no. Here comes the nipple. Oh, the nipple, nipple got a reaction. We should be very glad that uh, Deadspin is no longer yes. a thing. Now. School scenes yes. have basically Rudy. been a porn shoot. Since Rudy just yes. walked in with the camera. Rudy is sweating right now. <laughs> <laughs> he is drenched in sweat. Rudy just, just pixelate Chaps' bulge in school scenes. <laughs> that will make him look nude, yeah. <laughs> but like, whenever you do for just like a, a Navy SEAL and just put a black blot yes. over their eyes. <laughs> Did they have to do that with the dogs too? Oh, 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 that's a big club. Oh, I can't yeah. tell just from the, the warmth that that's oh, going to be. It's called more. Oh, 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 there was, oh, 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 uh, it was a good time. I feel, honestly, I feel sexier than I have in a long time. Um, I was glad to get, for years I've wondered what it was going to be like. When, I've wondered what it was going to be like when my pubic region is broadcast to thousands of people and now I don't have to live in fear anymore. So, it feels good. How much uh, pleasure did you get out of that? Uh, a little bit, a little bit of sick pleasure. It wasn't that fun, but I, I had fun until I ripped the chest hair off. And then I looked at the strip that came off it, like the fucking roots and the, the disgusting strip. I was, I actually want to puke now just even thinking about it. It's really fucking gross. The chaps are great. Good job, chaps. Thanks, pal. You got that like thousand. You got that like thousand yard stare right now. Like, mm -hmm. like. I just want it. a bagel. Honestly, I'm just kind of hungry. I need a coffee. Maybe I'll find Radio Brand and make that bitch go get me a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That looked like something out of like a porno, like snuff film. You got like a naked guy on a table being surrounded by a bunch of people with mics with some outside woman smearing his body up and one of Chaps' best buds ripping his hair off his body. It was absolutely vile. And the fact that it was a radio segment, I mean, God bless PFT and the gang on Big If True who had to convey that audio style. Holy shit. The clumps of hair that was coming off of that guy. And somebody said that he should tape it on his face to get his beard back. <laughs> <laughs> Tit whistle. Oh, it looks good. Oh, it's so raw. No, it looks good, man. It doesn't even look irritated. Whistle. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> look how irritated it looks. Yeah. All right, I'm going to close my eyes. Like, you honestly... Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right? Doesn't it feel like a, a woman's breast now? Yeah, like, yeah, like high school. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it took me back to watching Google Hunting and movie theater. <laughs> Make some stacks. Stacks on racks on racks on racks on racks on racks. Let's go. It's up, up, that way. a little more to the right. Up more. Keep going. Keep going. Now to the other right. See like that black and white oh, yeah. little triangle now. Little triangle to the, to the right. A little bit more. Right. Down. Even more. Down to the right. Keep going. Up, go up. up. Boom. This Wow. Let's go to the casino, baby. Y'all got some good eyes. There you go. Okay. Oh, we got GPS. Great eyes, baby. Go to the casino, we're going to get that drip. <laughs> <laughs> but you're the one who told me about drip. Yeah. Yeah. But we cannot throw the drip at this. No strip is thrown. But you can beat the drip. Yes. We can bet the drip because we can get more drip. But if we just... 
taking chances, throwing the drip away? No, don't want to throw the drip away. No, no, there's only so much drip you can have. Right. Mm -hmm. Yo. Drip is a finite resource. Mm -hmm. You have like an ESPN face. I have an ESPN face? Yes. We don't like ESPN here. Oh, y'all don't? No. It's okay though. But they do. <laughs> For real? Oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. no. You can say whatever you want. No, people. But you saying that I have an ESPN face my face would make too, right? my boss really unhappy at me because then he'll want me to go to ESPN. No. Yeah. Well, you have y'all face. I. You have a face for y'all. I have y'all face? You have a face for your team. I have drip. You have drip. Period. Period. <laughs> Asian doll, Asian the bitch, Asian. The doll, Asian the brat. Period. The brat. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. Boom. Get it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dead. These people literally have not shut up for 48 hours. Like, I can't even hear myself think at my desk right now. Daniela, if you take to Twitter, if you take to Twitter for the world to see, yes. it is snitching. I went back to my desk, and the only person who really didn't look at me was Connor, because he's the one who probably talks the most over there. I'm not fighting with anybody. I'm just stating some facts. You could have easily right. talked to me, Jack, whoever. I don't know you. I don't want to look at you and say, stop talking. But you have to understand, you have to respect people's work. If that was the case, then I just wish you would have said to me. Somebody said it to you. That's, that's another point. Somebody's already said to you, you have to stop talking so much. In this area, like, this is more of social and business, and, like, I get you're like edging to be content, but like you have to kind of prove yourself here too. Like, 